Welcome back to ISF. Of course, one of the best things in South Florida are our beaches, but sometimes finding a good place to eat nearby can get a little bit tricky. Well, we found one beautiful spot in Fort Lauderdale Beach that not only is feet from the ocean, but serves up delicious Mexican food with flair. Solona is a concept of Mexican cuisine where we try to give this new modern approach. Everything is Mexican inspired, a lot of tradition going behind the, those doors, a lot of like traditional ingredients, but this new flair and modern where we try to make it approachable and cheap for everybody. I want people to understand that Mexico has, has so much more to offer than only tacos and tequila. And although we make a lot of those here, and they're one of the best that you've probably had, uh, we have other specialties and we have a lot of play of like the classics, but with a modern Mexican concept. So I really want to communicate this richness of culture, the variety of our chiles, the variety of our techniques, way beyond just tacos and tequila. Uh, many, if not probably everything that we serve here comes with a process. Uh, just in the kitchen we use 17 types of chiles from dry to, uh, to ripe to mature. So uh, there's a lot of thought be uh, behind every dish that they have, as simple as they look. Even our chicken quesadilla that is one of our top selling items, the way that we uh, put flavor into the chicken 24 hours minimum, uh, the cheese selection that we do, the tortillas from a Mexican vendor, everything here has like that process and it's just not like your regular open the box taco mix seasoning that you can find many places. It's an amazing challenge. It's without a doubt a monster. It's a, just a beautiful monster. It can go from having a very quiet night to do 800 covers out of nowhere. And that challenge implies that we cannot lose our quality, our speed, so, um, and it's a very popular restaurant, so it's just super fun coming from like a fine dining standpoint where you only do a couple of hundreds a night to make a lot of covers. Uh, this part of, you still need to be efficient, quick, everything needs to be perfect and flavorful but while you're having a party in the terrace, you're having a DJ in the main dining room, plus a private event going in our tequila room. So it's just, it's just amazing. The process of learning and developing is incredible. So this is what, this is what I came here for. <laughs> Tell me, what are we looking at here? So this is one of the things that we do here really, really well, and we're really proud of it. This is uh, nuestros tacos de carnitas. Um, so the right way to make carnitas is you cook a delicious part of the pork a long time in its own fat and you season it pretty well and you just cook it low and slow for a long time until it shreds. How long you think? That one takes four to six hours depending the, uh, how big the, we use pork butt where we have all the flavor, all the muscle, all the fat. So depending how big they are, the time, so four to six hours. That's no joke, that is no joke. All right, so what are we looking at here? So that's our version of uh, tacos de costra de queso. So in Mexico City, it's very common, they throw the cheese on the flat top until they like crisp and caramelize, then put some meat and they make a taco. This is our version, we do the same thing here, taco by taco, we leave it crispy and rendering and all the fat and the flavor are right there, so. So these are dishes that are a little bit more unique. So, Lona, so tell me, what do we have here? So here's our play on salmon. Uh, we do salmon a la poblana. We roast our poblano peppers and we make a super creamy, nice sauce out of it. It's not spicy, but it's full of flavor. It looks uh, so good. <laughs> nice, yeah, yeah, it's super nice, it's vibrant, it's fresh, just to have it like next to the beach. Uh, some red pickle onions. We use a lot of pickles in Mexico, so it's just that part that we needed. And for the crunch, some uh, cacahuates, that it's peanuts. But we toast them in a little bit of chili and they just bring that extra flavor. I love how everything on this dish has just so much thought added behind it. There's texture, there's different flavors, there's a play on different things. So that looks really exciting, but this is also really unique too. Tell me about it. This is a little bit, um, we took a little more license with this one. So an aguachile is another version of Mexican ceviche. 
uh, thicker fish, uh, more veggies. It's a little bit more rough. Here we tend to refine it a little bit. And the traditional one is maybe cucumber is green, ours is red with chile guajillo that is not very common, but we but it gives a, just a, such a beautiful color and flavor. So we allow ourselves to play a little bit more. Well, that's and all the fun with the food, right? You can exactly, play with it yeah. and it comes with a little bit of a show. Show me, what. so what do you do if you got this plate? So it comes like this and we always ask our guests to just pour it all around the fish <laughs> and literally just take a little bit of that the chip. Beautiful. And dip it. <laughs> Thank you. And last but not least, something I think everyone kind of knows about. I mean, that one, we just do it the, the right way, right? Fresh avocado every day, fresh tomatoes, fresh onions. We make a lot of guacamole here every day. Chef, thank you so much for having us. Cheers. It's been a pleasure. Cheers. Likewise. I'll be back. Welcome. I'll be back.